Hey everyone, session number 16. Let's get on with it. All right, let's move our legs around here. I reckon you guys are a little close there. I'll scoot you back just a little bit. Let's see if that works. Good. Yeah, there we go. Let's loosen the legs. Foam, uh, roll in the picture. There we go. Someone not distracted. Hopefully everyone's having a wonderful day. Looks like our legs. Two seconds. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to sort everything out. Plenty going on there. Cross legs up. Let's get into a lovely glute stretch. All right, sit into it. Give it a little rock. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed just that little bit of a change up with, um, yeah, just adding some dumbbell work and some bits and pieces. We spoke about how I've got some other bands here. So keep that glute stretch going. So that's other bands like this. So they're just some thin bands, you can actually go get them from Kmart and stuff like that, but um, I particularly got them from a different uh, online website. But yeah, just some stretchy bands offer a bit of resistance. So there's a whole bunch of different stuff, switch over legs, we could do with those bands. Um, yeah, but I'm still, again, I want to give those variations if you didn't have any bits of equipment, how you can still operate and do the exercises. And if you do have them, how you can definitely use some extra, yeah, just some extra simple tools, you know to add a little bit more resistance under some of our movements. Good to get into a good, good stretch. Stand up, quadricep for me, team. Ah, wonderful. Um, and what's today? Today's Friday, so I'm uh, always gonna try to get these videos done just a teeny bit earlier. Uh, I've noticed some of the days that, um, uh, yeah, like some of the days has been like Monday and Tuesday, which is just before it goes on air there. So I'll try to get these out way a little bit earlier so we can jump on. Ah, oh, switch over legs. A bit more proactive in my responses, which is nice. Switch over legs, give it a good pull up. Oh, which is good. And yeah, a bit of a bit of a cold day today, but nothing that a good fireplace doesn't fix. Yeah, definitely tonight's going to be a good fireplace night. And uh, the wife Amy's, um, yeah, it looks like on most Fridays we're hoping. We're hoping most of them there, but definitely this one there. She's been given the opportunity to do some planning from home, which is lovely for her. So she's had a nice little sleep in. <laughs> We've had a bit of a relax upstairs. We've got our, um, very much our favourite, hamstring stretch. One of our local places we go to to get some food. Um, they have some frozen croissants there, so you, um, yeah, you basically take them out of the freezer the uh, night before or the day before. Uh, let us sit in the tray overnight there, um, and then, you know, heat up your oven 200 degrees, whack them in for about 12 to 15 minutes, and just, wow. We sometimes will wake up in the morning, put the oven on, Working in, my alarm will go off, tell me 12 minutes later I'll go downstairs and you can just smell it. You just smell it going through the home, it's delicious. So that with a little bit of Amy's a butter and jam girl, I'm a cheese and, I'm a cheese and Vegemite man with croissants. I know that sounds a little funky. You're such a well expert, I personally don't mind it. I personally don't mind it. I know there's a lot of cheese and ham fans with it, but just whack on whatever, it is delicious. But that and a good, um, good coffee, we call it a cap and crow, so Cappuccino and a, and a croissant, cro cro so cap and crow is what we call it, and yeah, it's lovely. Nice to have those little fun things to look forward to for sure. Calf stretch for me. Let's get into a good calf stretch. So today I'm predominantly going to work with the dumbbells. So it's pretty much if you've got dumbbells, we're going to keep with those for pretty much the whole session. Um, if you don't have them, you're just mimicking the exact same movements that I'm doing, but obviously not holding onto the dumbbells there. So the weight load and the resistance on your shoulders and body will be a little bit less. But again, you get to pick the pace, the speed that you work with. So you can always make it a bit harder by working faster, switch over legs. Or well, not as hard if it is, um, if you are finding the load a bit too tricky, by slowing it down or adding some pauses will just decrease that. So that is all fun. Good, let that out the hips, loosen them up. Table top stretch, please. Sit yourself over the top. Yeah, really jump into it. Swivel that hip around. Let's get a good little dance. Ah, oh, that feels nice. There we go. Good, just sit at the top there. Awesome! If you would like a quick drink, this is a great time to do it. So, okay, we set that quick drink of water and then we'll get straight into it. Ah, excellent. Alright, grab me my dumbbells. We are good. Alright, try to send it myself. <laughs> Take the scooch over a bit. Okay, team. Let's get into it. 
So get those arms moving. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was looking at my timer, I thought, I thought that it stopped. <laughs> it stopped working. We don't want it to stop working. Good, get those arms moving. <laughs> I actually, on a, on a funny note, um, I had to clear a whole lot of videos and stuff that I've been doing recently, because when I do all these videos, it takes up obviously memory um, on my phone. And so what happened was, I think about two or three weeks ago, one of the videos I was doing here, it cut off just at the end when I was about to do my um, cool down. And I had no idea I did that. It didn't actually show anything on my phone. But when I looked at it, I could see that the timer had zero, zero. And I'm thinking, why does it say zero, zero? Did I forget to press the record button? And it wasn't. Lean over forward, pull it up to the side. Elbows come back, and you're squeezing through the mid part of your back. You want to lean slightly forward. Yeah, it's just that my phone ran out of it. So it decided to stop, uh, <laughs> stop filming and put a pause in there. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, sorry, yeah. making sure it's not doing that again because we wouldn't want that to happen. <laughs> Good team, work with it. Three, so just lean slightly forward. Two, one more. Good, stand yourself up nice and tall. So I'm going to try to get us out of the seat um, a fair bit today there. It's completely up to you if you feel like you want to take a seat and you want to prefer to do it in the seat doing something like a shoulder press. You're absolutely welcome to. But otherwise, come join me. So pressing above our head with our shoulder press. That's what we're doing here. Good stuff, team. Good, you take your time if you go at a faster pace. You may be a bit harder for it, just rotate to the side, nice and pressing that above my head. So it isn't going behind, it isn't going in front. Let's try to get it above my head. Two. One more. Good, straight arm swings. So I just shot lateral, I'm just going to put that there. Notice to a lot of the exercises, I'm trying to keep my head nice and neutral. I'm not looking down, I'm not looking to the side. I'm trying to keep my head neutral and straight ahead. Good. I find this with a slight drop on my knees just gives me a little bit of stability because I don't want to have my hips just swinging with me. Right, I keep them straight. Getting my arms working. There we go. Good. Good, keep working it. Three, two, one. Good, so what we're going to do is wind our stance. Bring myself over a little bit and it's like we're punching down. So show what that looks like from the side. Good, you stay stable so you don't have to walk around like I did. You stay there, punch down for us. Think punch down, pull up. We've spoken a bit about this, so you got to punch and then pull. Punch, pull, punch, pull. And so you're thinking about it like that. Good. Two, one. Good, quick little uppercuts. They think small and fast. You'll notice today's a little bit more about cardiovascular, you're getting your heart rate up a little bit more, and again, like I said, out of the seat a little bit more. So again, it's a bit tough, slow the pace down. You, if you've got dumbbells, you can always put them aside for some of these exercises. That is an option as well. Completely up to you. Good stuff, team. Give me 20 more seconds. Let's go. Yes, heart rate comes up a little bit, even I'm breathing a little bit heavier. And that is a good thing. Never a bad thing. Wakes that whole body up. All right. Three, two, one. Good. So we're going to go quick arms through this one here. So this is what we're looking for. Quick arms. Good. Hammer grip curls. So pulling up in front of you there. Notice I've got a slight bend in my legs. The idea is a very slight bend in my legs. To be able to execute this. Good stuff, team. Good, if you stand stiff leg, there's nothing wrong with that. But you'll find if you just drop your legs a little bit, you can just find that you keep your hips a bit more stable. Three, two, one. Take a seat on your chair. Oh, yeah. Notice your heart rate may be up a little bit. Nothing wrong with that there. Take a moment just to catch your breath. Good, we're gonna move into some forearm work. So that is resting your palms as I rest your forearms along your legs, letting the dumbbell just slowly roll down your fingers, pull it up. Please don't let it drop out of your fingers, otherwise it's going to likely hit your toe. Nothing fun about that. Control that down, pull up and curl. Control down, pull up and curl. Here we go. Good, set a good little rhythm here. Here we go. 
Cool, yeah, gets a little bit of extra forearm work. Um, for those who are used to joining to our group uh, chair exercise class, you'll notice that we used to do a fair bit of this, internal, external, just because it's a great way to just fire up those forearms a little bit more. Um, I know a lot of you love your gardening and would say that I do more than enough of it, but I would always say there's more that you can do. And these are just some great little simple ones that we can do. Work on top. Knuckles up. Get them pulling up a bit higher. Good work. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. Oh, just shake them out a little bit. Just notice that. Oh. Good, depends on how heavy those weights are. You'll notice some extra forearm work there. Sometimes it's just nice doing it. And if you didn't have any weights, just creating that rotation through your wrist there. You might find the internal external not so bad, but the up and down there, you may notice get a good amount of fatigue. That is awesome. Good, we haven't done these ones for a while, but we're gonna pop it on top of our feet. And we're gonna do some leg lifting. So this one here, the trick to it is trying to find that spot where it sits. What I do is I try to pull my toes up and try to sit it in over the top there. If I point my toes down, the, the dumbbell's just gonna slide right off. But by pulling my toes up a little bit, I can sort of keep it. And I know there's always people out there that use their shoelaces and tie it up, so you can get a little creative eye wall full of that. I believe one person even bought some lacquer bands in one time. Hey, look, creativity, I'm all for it, tick. I'm not watching you at home, or am I? I'm definitely not. <laughs> so you can get a little creative. Two. One, and sometimes they fall off, the one on my left's about to do it, and then bring it off sometimes. Good, awesome. So our next one here, team, is what we call a lateral raise. So you need to relax your shoulders. Relax your shoulders, head up nice and tall, draw your shoulders back a little bit, pull it out to the side, control it down. Pull it out to the side, control it down. The key is looking straight ahead here. Good, notice I'm not going any higher than parallel to the floor. So this would be below parallel, makes it a little bit easier. This is above parallel, makes it a bit harder. Where I really want to see everyone is just working parallel. That would be awesome. Good. Notice your shoulders will get a bit heavy, all super normal. We've got this. Four, three, two, one more. That's great, my team. One last one, then a quick drink break. Ooh. Shoulders and everything's getting a little bit tight there. So we're doing a reverse fly. You're gonna sit over the top, pull it out to the side. So it's just pulling back and out there. I'm gonna show up just laterally. So you can see what that looks like. Good, sitting over the top, pull it out to the side. That's how it works. There we go, team. You got this. Good, lean slightly forward. Try to squeeze those mid part of your back muscle grips together. Two, one more. Yes, let's have ourselves a rest. You may notice how heavy your shoulders are feeling. That's really normal. Shake them out and about there. That is okay. Also, have yourself some water. Ah, this is what training is all about, team. Noticing that little bit level of fatigue. Sometimes the key is feeling a little uncomfortable too. So, you know, in my case there, I notice that my shoulders are a bit tired and a bit heavy, uh, you know, from previous training as well as what we've just done there, and that's a good feeling. So I'm a little uncomfortable with how they're feeling, but that doesn't stop me from doing the movement. Pain or that stabbing one will definitely stop you when you most definitely should stop doing that. So it's about understanding your limitations and where your body is able to perform the exercise. Some people might need to be doing a little bit more internal external rotation. So it just means you relax your shoulder and be able to create this internal external. So we want to make sure that they're relatively even through the internal external. So I'm rotating a bit better on my right side than I am on left. My left's just a bit tight, I sit in the middle. I've got a little bit better range of motion on my right than my left. So my left shoulder can get a little bit sticky sometimes and that's a nice little gauge on that, how that's feeling if it's not so they're relatively close, but definitely a difference. If they're like this, then we've got some problems, right? So it means we need to tend to it and get this sorted before we can load it up too much. So it's really good to know those different things. 
Okay, enough talk of rehab, more on training. <laughs> we have some squats that we're going to go through. Good, so I prefer you if you've got weights to use your weights. Challenge yourself a little bit more with it. If you don't, that is absolutely fine. You can just do body weight. Let's go for it. Big squeeze of glute, come up nice and tall. It's all about that squeeze through glute. Yeah, that's awesome. Here we go. Good stuff, team. Big squeeze of glute. Yes. That's how we do it. Shuffle the pulse, control down. We're just going to shot laterally. And I've done this plenty of times, but it's really good to know that I am standing up tall, thrusting my bum, and then I sit my bum back to sit onto a seat. Thrust my bum forward, sit my bum back. I'm really using glutes to do a lot of that hard work. That's really important. Should always be an emphasis on thrusting up through a glute. Two. One more. Yes. Okay. Cool. Standing work. <laughs> Good, so we've done these movement patterns before, we do a bit of a bent over row. So we bend our legs a little bit, we sit over the top, and you want to pull that back. Good, there's a couple of variations and ways that we can play with this. We can bend our knees a bit more and fall a bit more over the top. Good, we can think about really bringing our elbows back behind us, or you can swing it back. This is a bit of a swing back, or just a pull back. Good. Either of them are fine, you may play with them. You may find it's really, really, really hard to do this with both legs. So keep going for a stand. I'm just going to show another variation. We're going to take a little bit of time to teach you this. So the other variation you can do also what we call a single arm or a one arm row. So I've got my knee on the chair, my hand on the chair, and I bring this other leg back really far. The idea is I bend this knee a little bit and I pull one up at a time. Notice the position that my, this is my right leg, my right leg's in, and what I'm doing with my arms here. Good. Notice my left knee's on the chair, and my left hand's on the chair. Good, so that's a slightly easier version. Good. Yep. And just notice that's exactly what I'm doing here. The difference is, is instead of having the chair to help stabilise me, I'm using the strength of my legs to help stabilize me as I'm pulling back there, making sure that those knees are slightly bent. That's really important. That's why sometimes I'll rotate to the side so you can see me do it. Two, one, yes. And you may notice a little bit of extra fatigue through your lower back and your mid part of your back. It's all really normal. It's what we call the posterior chain. It has to work hard to help stabilize you while you're executing the movement. And that is great. Okay. Back onto the chair. <laughs> All right, so this time here we're going to do more of an isometric hold, which means you're there to hold the exercise up. So one leg at a time. Bring her up, hold. Drop down. Bring it up, hold. Drop down. Here we go. So one to two second hold, more than enough. Just getting a feel for it. Yes. Good work. Good, I've blamed a little bit through there, but your goal is to keep yourself as neutral and straight through the top half of your body while you lift your legs. Otherwise, similar to what I did, I had a bit of a lean there, so I was cheating a bit. Try to keep yourself upright, engage just a little bit more of your goals, keep it all in nice and tight. One more on the other side. Yes, good, you can get a little creative and work the front of your leg. It's called your anterior tip. Good, and that's just by pushing. So all I'm gonna do is pulling my toes up, let them relax in on the floor. So as I'm doing that, let's see if I can execute a running movement as well. There's a little bit of brain coordination. You might notice too that the dumbbells will fall off your feet. Ah, it's super normal. Just pop them back on. Ah, see? Ah, happens to the best of us. <laughs> Go on. Stay there. Stay there, dumbbell. Talk to him. Let him know. Hey, I love you, but I need you to stay there. Stay. Or as I say when my dog's waiting, Waiting, and they give me this look like that. What am I waiting for? Is the retreat at the end of when I wait? And they know the routine. <laughs> nah, not you now. Nah, you both done. <laughs> Just like my dogs, they don't really listen. 
Cool, so our next one's going to be what we call an overhead tricep extension. So I'm going to show it straight on, and then I'm going to rotate to the side. You're all doing wonderful. It's a little bit of a tougher session, especially adding the dumbbells to it. Up nice and high, control down, pull above your head. Control down, pull above your head. So let's have a bit of a look at what that looks like right there. Head up nice and tall, that must say above my head, control down, pull above my head. Control, pull. Good, just nice to have some slightly different movements that we can go ahead and do. Just works our muscle groups a little bit different. So this is working the back of our arm, but because we start above our head, it forces our shoulders to have to work hard to stabilize. One more. Yeah, how good's that? That makes it a little bit harder. Lovely, so what we're going to do is just one more little break to one. We're going to have our legs coming in and out while we interject and get our arms running. Good. Legs in and out. Have those arms curling. Good, you may notice your forearm, your bicep, everything's feeling a bit fatigued. Good, you can control the distance that you do with your legs. You can also control the distance you do with your arms. If you extend those legs out and bring those up a bit higher, you make it a little bit tougher. And that's what makes it so special. You get to choose those variations. Okay, give me a little bit more. Let's go 20 more seconds, then we have another quick drink break. You do a wonderful team, and then you give me the last little run around. Of course, we're going to do some boxing. Of course, we are. You knew it, I knew it, everyone knew it. <laughs> Five seconds, four. Three, two, one. Okay, enjoy your rest there. Get that heart rate up. Doing wonderful, team. Doing wonderful. Right. I hope you appreciate water so much more, right? When you're a bit more tired and. a bit more and I love some nice cold water, especially on a cold day. I actually really enjoy having a bit of cold water. It just goes down well. Whew, all right. We have three minutes. We all know what we're about to do. We're gonna do some boxing. Sorry, I dropped my head on that one there. I'm gonna lift my head up. We're gonna do some boxing. Let's go. So you have the option using the dumbbells or you have the option of throwing with your hands. Your call team. At any stage, if you're starting with the dumbbells, want to put them aside, that is okay too. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna move the chair. Safety first, chair's out of the way. Good, left leg in front, right leg behind. Punch low, you've got this team, stick with me. Two and a half minutes now, middle. And any stage, if you need a rest, have a rest. Right legs, pop those right legs in front. Not right legs, just your right leg. <laughs> high, punch him up high. Good. Low. Left leg, switch it around. Control your speed. Middle. Low. High. Yes, team. Let's get it done. Right leg, keep punching that high. Low. Left leg. High. Middle. Right leg. Oh, shoulders get heavy. Low. 90 seconds, yes. It's gonna be a grind. We've got this, we find a way, we find a way every time. Middle. Low. Left leg. High, let's go. Good, any stage again, dumbbells can go down. You throw it with your hands, low. Right leg, middle, high, stick with me, middle, high, oh yeah, low, left leg, middle, stay with me, middle, ah sorry, middle, <laughs> low, that was transition before I called it, right leg, oh yeah, it's getting heavy, we've got this, high, Left leg, right leg, oh yeah. Middle, low, left leg. 30 
seconds, 30 seconds. Right leg, bring it home. Last 20 seconds, we're gonna freestyle. Middle, I'm gonna let you know, you can do any punches you want. High, two, one, any punches you want. You change it up. 20 seconds, freestyle it. Stay with me team, 10 seconds. Two, one, you are done. Oh yeah, that is great work. Yes, grab yourself a drink. And we're gonna go to our pull down. Superstar team, superstar. Oh. So, I'm gonna suggest, just let your arms swing a bit. Right, you may notice just your arms are feeling a bit more heavy. Woo! It's good just to loosen them up. And fun times for me, my next half an hour class that I'm running is all upper body training. Oh, it's a good prepping for me, right? My shoulders are all nice and warmed up for it. <laughs> As if who am I talking to warmed up? They are worked out. They are tired. <laughs> oh, it's good fun. Good, I just like sometimes some simple starts from shoulder shrugs. I like sort of like just flopping my hands around and even just shaking it out. So that looks a bit weird, but just flopping it, let it sort of spin, just sort of noticing how that feels on my shoulders. And that is great. Take us out my seat, glute stretch. Let's finish off strong. Well done today, team. Well done. My energy levels were a bit high, a bit excited to be. It's a very good day for me there, so I've got a lot to get done. Uh, sorry, I was a little bit rushed at the start and didn't have everything all sorted out and the distance was a bit wrong, but we get there in the end, team. We always get there, switch over sides. And again, hope everyone's well and, and doing really good and, and holding up okay physically and mentally with the isolation. You know, it doesn't mean that we can't communicate and we're sort of unable to see people's faces with technology, but no doubt we want to see people in the flesh, right? It's just nice to see family members and give them a hug and, but for now that's gonna be put on hold. But uh, if we keep doing the right things, we'll get there sooner or later, that'll be the plan. Let's stick with that. One stretch for me, Teddy. Ah, yes. Good to give everything a good stretch. There we go. Oh yeah, these legs are heavy. <laughs> that's good, such other sides. So we know we've worked that hard. Oh yes. I always set myself, uh, I'll let you in a little bit so I always set myself a little bit of a fun task. Good reaction stretch. So with my big load of work today there, I'll get all that done before I, um, I think we'll be doing a, a little bit of grocery shop before we start doing some more online stuff um, today there. So just before I get to do that, I'm excited because I'm going to make myself a nice big cup of coffee. I reckon I might even get like a double shot, load that up, put some milk in there. Uh, sometimes half sugar, sometimes not. And just uh, you know, take ten minutes to just enjoy a coffee. In the um, for all of you who who do follow the NBA basketball, I don't know how many have been following of late, but uh, they're all set up over in Orlando um, to yeah resume the basketball. So today is the first day. Today's Friday. Today's the first day of competition. So I put it on record, and I'm very excited to watch one of the basketball matches. There's two actually on at the moment. Um, but yeah, very excited to possibly just watch one of the basketball matches. Good pass for to sort of see how they're holding up with that and um, just seeing how the, how the athletes are, are, are dealing with what's happening. Um, you know, my predictions are that the, the general gameplay might be a little bit off. People's skills won't be as sharp. Um, there'll probably be a little bit of errors here and there and that's, and that's fine. It's probably pretty standard. Uh, but it's going to be very interesting. Very interesting to sort of see how it all pans out. Switch over sides. Um, yeah, so, so, so excited to sit down and watch that, and uh, I'll watch about 10 minutes of that, I think later tonight, I'll tell Amy, off you go up the couch, this is my time, I want, I want my hour and watch my basketball, that'd be nice. <laughs> Table top for our last one, team. So yes, coffee, basketball, that is a nice reward for me. So simple things, I'm a very simple life. Nice simple things for me. <sighs> nice tabletop stretch. Team, wonderful training session. Well done. I will see you next week. Superstars.